Good morning, everyone. Do you know, today I decided just to create something a little bit different. Do you know, um, I reached 65 in October. I'm not afraid to say my age. It's a number as far as I'm concerned. But I've called this the seven faces of Adrian. And the reason I've done it is to share with people that in your life, you can do many different things. And I've kind of worked out in my life, I've had opportunities in seven different areas. Um, you could say I am was a kind of a jack of all trades and maybe even a master of none. So, I, you know, I started out really as a teacher um, and I qualified as a, a graduate teacher in 1981. So over 41 years ago. And I've been working around education, um, teaching, currently tuition, and many, many other things in that period of time. So I'm currently a tutor, but I'm also, at the same time, you'll notice I'm also <laughs> a tennis player and a coach. So when I was young, I, I had the ability to play the game re reasonably well, but it wasn't the the time where there were loads of sponsorships and whatever else. But, you know, I did play some pretty well-known people when I was younger. But, uh, you know, that's the way life goes. But I still play on the ITF. I haven't played as much, obviously, since the pandemic. And, in fact, I want to get back into tournament playing, possibly at the end of this year, and start again and try and get this world ranking back. So I'm a tutor I'm a teacher by profession and I'm a tennis uh, coach. I also am um, also recently been developing, I'm a, um, I'm a resource creator for GCSE English and other things as well. Um, so I like writing and I have a shop, an online shop. So that's something that people can go to if they can't afford tuition with me, the resources and perhaps that will help. Their, their children to study, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I've also been a writer. I've created, I created a, a book way back in 2011 when I was in Bahrain, and it's called Inspiration Creates Aspiration. The phrase came from really an attitude of me. I always feel that, you know, you have to, um, not as a teacher, just teach, you have to inspire. And if you inspire people, then they aspire. It's kind of like a, 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 a role on effect. So I developed a book called Inspiration uh, Creates Aspiration. And the book is more like a training guide for trainers, to be honest. And it involves my teaching element, the psychology of teaching, whatever. Uh, the book's probably crap, actually. But it, at least I, it was done and published and it's on Amazon. Um the other thing I do is I've, I've developed this ability to write poems and um, it and you can check out a few links and see what I've done. And I also do this thing now where I can gift a poem. So, you know, you get a lot of people, they do uh, various things when they reach various critical moments in their life, very, very rich birthdays and things and do you know if somebody sent me lots of information and photos and then i could probably create a poem for somebody that will last them for a lifetime so that's something else i do i was also a corporate trainer i came out of teaching for a while and for 13 years i run my own businesses in training and development and i work for some major companies so i've been a corporate trainer in the past and you can see links to that at the end of this um and so on and so on. So I've been, so let's just recap. So tutor, teacher, um, a resource creator, a writer. I'm also developing a book at the moment, which is going to be a digital book online. And it's for young children. And it's going to be in, involving um, my golden retriever called Clemmy. And it's called Clemmy and Us. And um, I've created the first uh, book of that. I've just got to finish off some of the, the pictures on the, the book, but that will go in my shop online. And it's it's for children, probably four or five year olds that can read along with them, their, their mums and dads or whatever. And that's something else I'm, I've been doing. Um, 
But last but not least, and this will be the surprise, I, I actually, when I was 17, I um, had aspirations of being on TV and being an actor, and I was lucky enough to get into the National Youth Theatre when I was 17 in 1974. And from that, things started to develop. There were possibilities. I didn't know whether to play tennis, as uh, get on the circuit and play tennis, which was impossible at that time because you had to be wealthy. And I just came from a working class background. And then I decided to try acting and I got into the National Youth Theatre. It was great. And then I managed to get a couple of TV roles. And I was actually in um, a BBC production called The Peppermint Pig. Um, but as would um, be the case, I was not a member of what is called equity. That was the actors union at the time. And I did get a speaking role. So they at the end on the credits, they changed my name to uh, a completely fictional name called Dennis Blackmore, because at that point you were not allowed to employ people who were non -e non equity members in a tv program who actually had a sp small speaking part and it was a really small speaking part but i was young roland but you will see on the clip that's on this video that you can go into that it's definitely me uh, you can tell the nose has never changed and whatever else you can see that i am so it's about what i've done and what i can offer and the thing is my current role is I, I try to help students with their uh, understanding of English and I, I just help students to try and have confidence in themselves about what they want to do in their lives. Uh, and I, I'm probably, as I said before, a jack of all trades and master of none, but I, I feel that we all have a purpose in life. And that purpose in life sometimes is to take yourself out of comfort zone. I've also been lucky enough and privileged enough to work overseas. I've w lived overseas for a total of 20 years in working in multicultural societies. And I worked uh, across, I lived in Singapore, I lived in Kuwait, I lived in Bahrain, and I traveled a lot. And I've done some amazing school trips with kids. I took a whole bunch of kids, over 120 of them, to Sarawak, the Malaysian um portion of, of Malaysia and it was a we went to see the Iban warriors in in the jungle so th there are so many experiences I could talk about and etc etc but look I'm here to offer the services that I can I can do so many different things I'm also considering thinking about that we should have a an online situation where sometimes students can just have a chat with me and just get some advice and experience about what they could do with their lives. Because, you know, if you, my, my father always said to me, look, you can't choose when and how you're going to die, but you're going to choose how you're going to live. And sadly, I lost my dad when I was 17 years old. But having done that, it's, it's made me the kind of person that I am, that I feel that, you know, we are thrown against so many things at the moment. We're going through challenging situations at this very moment in our time as well after the pandemic we're now going into a kind of a, a recessiony type scenario we're finding that people are struggling but there are still things we can do to maximize what we can do so listen look it's a bit of a strange one i, I remember when i was at teacher training college i studied something called the seven faces of eve uh so I didn't ever think I'd be saying the seven faces of Adrian. But anyway, that's all by the by. But listen, I'm here to help. I want to help. There are many ways that you can get my services. Uh, you, if you want one-to-one -one tuition, I now have 10 uh, spaces available for GCSE, uh, GCSE English. And that would be really for youngsters who are now year eight, going into year nine or going into year 10 or going into year 11. They're the best age groups for me to give my expertise to. So that's something you can do. I'm also trying to create tennis camps and uh, for GCSE students, my latest innovation was to all those uh, year 11s that have now finished school are probably sitting at home today, chilling out and rightly so. But if they want an activity, I'm trying to create groups of up to eight students that can come along to tennis sessions with me starting on July the 4th. There are all these things you can find out about on my website, but please get in touch with me. 
and let's start moving forward and enjoying the experience together. Um, I hope this was of interest to you, but listen, if it wasn't, it doesn't matter. I just feel that it's sometimes it's worth having a talk to people and telling them a little bit more about yourself. I've, over the years, I've filled in curriculum vitae, and quite honest, honestly, they don't really give the whole picture of people. It's not just about work. It's about what you do in your life as well. And you should always do things in your life that you enjoy doing. Some people chase the money, but then sometimes the pressures and stresses are too much. So you have to get a balance. And I'm the same. I like to do what I like to do now. I don't want to. I'm not there to prove anything else um, other than trying to to do what I enjoy. And get in touch. You know, I, I really want to hear from you. Don't be afraid. There's never there's ne it's never a problem for me to to get in touch with you. You've got all sorts of links you can go to. You'll know my background back to front after this video. <laughs> Good luck. I'm sorry if it's boring. Okay, take care.